Hi, welcome to the Yale University Art Gallery in New Haven, Connecticut. Come on in and have a seat. This is Stories in Art. Please feel free to pause the video whenever you'd like to get a closer look at the artwork. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Samantha. I'm a student at Yale and work at the Yale University Art Gallery. Today, I will be telling the story of the Chihuahua. It's a very old story that is sometimes still told today by Bamana people of Mali in West Africa. This story tells about how people learn to farm and is a reminder to work hard and keep promises. The version of the story I'm telling today comes from our friends at the Brooklyn Museum and from an article by Pascal Imperato. As I tell the story, we will look closely at this Chihuahua headdress made a little over a hundred years ago by a Bamana artist whose name we no longer know. It was made to be worn on a person's head as they danced. Take a close look. What do you notice? I notice two animal heads. I also notice it looks like it's been carved out of wood and has decorations on the side. Now, as I tell the story, keep looking and see what else you notice. A long time ago, there was a young woman who lived in a village. In that time, people did not have many tools to help them plant and grow food. Instead, they found their food by hunting animals and gathering plants that grew nearby. It was really hard work. One hot day, the woman was having a hard time finding anything to eat. She thought she had found an edible root and was on her hands and knees, digging her with her hands to try to pull it out. But the land was so hard and dry, she couldn't get the root out. She cried, this is impossible. I'm working so hard, but I'm still hungry and can't find any food. Her stomach grumbled and she wiped the sweat off her brow, but she refused to give up. She kept digging. Suddenly, she felt a gentle breeze surround her body. She looked up and saw an unusual creature she'd never seen before. It had the head of an antelope with long horns stretching back and had the body of an aardvark with a long tail. As it emerged from the tall rustling grass, she heard a voice. It said, I am the Chihuahua and I am here to help you. I can see that you are suffering. I can see that you are hungry and I have a gift for you. Look where the tall grasses are swaying and you will find the gift. The woman walked to the grass looked down and found a strange object. It had a long wooden stick that reminded her of an antelope's horns, and it had a flat piece of metal bent at one end. She said, Chihuahua, what is this? I've never seen anything like this before. The Chihuahua answered, trust me. Hold it in your hands and it will help you to farm. It can help you to soften the soil, dig a hole that is deep enough to plant a seed and harvest the food you grow. You'll be able to grow so much food that you can feed the whole village. You won't have to hunt and gather when you are hungry. But if you do take this gift, you must make me two promises. The woman thought to herself, this gift would mean so much to my community. Two promises can't be hard to keep. She asked the Chihuahua, what must I promise? The Chihuahua replied, first, after every harvest, set aside a small amount of food to honor me. Second, do not ever waste the remaining food. Eat and share whatever you have. The woman was excited about the idea of farming and great harvests. So she said, yes, I promise. Thank you, Chihuahua. The sweet, gentle breeze stopped and the Chihuahua left. The woman immediately decided to test her new tool, which today we call a hoe. She lifted up the handle and brought the flat metal blade down to the hard earth on top of the root she had been digging, and the root popped right out. The Chihuahua's gift had worked. The hoe helped the woman learn how to farm and harvest food. Using it made the soil soft and fertile so she could grow more grains, fruits, and vegetables. Soon, the woman was known for being a great teacher. She showed the rest of the village how to farm, and soon there was enough food for everyone. The villagers learned how to plant seeds, water the plants, and harvest the crops. Most importantly, they followed the Chihuahua's rules. Every year, they set aside a portion of food for the Chihuahua. They wasted nothing, and they shared their harvest with anyone who needed it. But as the woman grew older, people began to forget her advice. The villagers slowly forgot to save food for the Chihuahua and to share their harvest. 
and one year they completely forgot. They forgot to set aside a small amount of food for the Chihuahua. They forgot their promise to share their food and they wasted their leftovers. Because they broke their promises, the weather was hot and dry. The sun beat down and no rain fell to the earth. Nothing would grow in the fields. The little food that the villagers had stored soon ran out and people became very hungry. The villagers didn't know what to do, but one man remembered a wise old woman who lived outside of town. Maybe she can help us, he said hopefully. So the villagers walked to the woman's house and knocked on her door. They explained their problem. It hasn't rained all year and we can't grow any food. We're starving. The woman realized that the villagers had broken their promise to the Chihuahua. She shouted in frustration, how could you forget? You must always remember to set aside food for the Chihuahua and to eat and share all of your harvest so that none is wasted. She made the villagers promise that, no matter how little food they grew that year, that they would set aside half of it for a big feast in the Chihuahua's honor. The villagers did as the woman said. After their feast to honor the Chihuahua, the weather improved. The rain watered the fields and made the soil soft and fertile, and the gentle sun helped the crops grow. The people were overjoyed and asked for the old woman's help to remember the Chihuahua's rules. The old woman gave them this advice. First, find the best artists in the community and ask them to carve two wooden headdresses for the Chihuahua spirit, one for the Chihuahua himself and one for his wife. The headdress must honor and respect the teachings of the Chihuahua. Make the headdress to resemble the head and horns of an antelope, the body of an aardvark, and the bent blade of the hoe. Then, find two people who you think are the best farmers in the community and ask them to wear the headdress and dance in the fields where we grow our crops. They followed the woman's advice. Every year, the people remember to honor the Chihuahua by dancing in the fields. They kept their promise to the Chihuahua. They saved food to honor the Chihuahua and they never wasted anything. They taught their children to keep the promise no matter what. The end. When we were looking at the Chihuahua headdress, we noticed that it was made up of different animals, each with its own features. Think about what skills different animals have. For example, a bird is good at flying and a rabbit is good at jumping. Imagine an animal that has many skills because it is made up of different animals. Take paper and pencil and draw the new animal you imagine and write about what it can do. We hope you enjoy drawing and writing about your new animal. Thank you for joining us for Stories and Art at the Yale University Art Gallery. We hope you enjoyed listening and looking with our storyteller.